everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation. It's been a little while and I'm gonna bring you some insights into what we're doing training wise with our athletes and what we do in the off season. And this is that time of year, you're gonna see a lot of the things we post and we're getting back to you know more throws tips and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the discus and the action of lower body speed and keeping the knees wide. It's one of the cues we use to help our throwers. If you're not following our Instagram series or Instagram page, check that out. We posted this post up. So if you don't follow our Instagram, do so. These are some quick tips we put up, but what we wanted to do is kind of go more in depth into what's kind of going on and look at some of the mistakes and kind of how we're trying to address those things. So here we have one of our athletes and you'll see that as he as he's coming through, we'll play this in full speed and we're gonna kind of break it down. So of course, in our system, we always work, we're very focused on specific movement in the start of our throw. We call that pillar one, that's the chain reaction and it sets everything up. And so what you're gonna notice is that we were trying to make some simple adjustments and the core here we're focusing on is lower body speed. And so at this point we come out and you're gonna notice. So one of the key things is we're looking at the direction of the foot. You're gonna notice that he has a pretty nice entry. You're gonna see where he's got the knee load. We wanna level out the shoulders a little bit and we're trying to keep the hips level and we would probably wanna see this toe elevated up just a touch so that we're going to increase the wide knees and we want when we say wide knees one of the things we're talking about is back here right at this position we want to maintain the knees wide so as he comes out you can see how we're keeping that gap here and and the wider we can keep that the bigger the the sweep's going to be and it's kind of the the door handle versus the hinge principle the handle's moving faster than the hinge so the longer wider radius of the sweep leg is going to help increase speed and it's just going to build more speed especially as we come into the middle okay so you'll notice again when we're at this position this is going to be things we're trying to work on the wider thing so this was one of the first days and and the cue was increasing the speed of the sweep leg and keeping those knees wide which was successfully helping him improve and again we're looking at throw in terms of a chain reaction so this was setting him up he's a little too we'd like to see this angle just a touch this left arm down a little lower and the high point up a little higher so we would see the orbit kind of writing in this point or angled in that point and so as he comes through this is going to help him load he gets the block leg and he's getting the delivery side is moving through a lot cleaner and that was going to be really the focus of what we're doing in training so remember one of the key things that you're always going to be focusing on is keeping everything wider and faster on the lower body. Lower body speed is where you want the speed. And so what you'll do, you'll notice here is because we're working on that, we're gonna see the orbit, the high point, and you see how his low point drops. So that's gonna be the next phase and that'll come up in another video, but we're always working on many things and remember sometimes other things are gonna be the focus. You can't work on 10 things at the same time. That's kind of the whole idea behind the throwing chain reaction system. We have six pillars. We're gonna be able to isolate how those pillars work, find and look at the deficiencies in the throw and then start to be able to train things and train positions that are going to translate over and carry over into more effective throws so again hopefully you found this helpful real simple tip for you guys remember lower body speed is the key keep the knees wide as you go into the sweep that'll make a huge difference there's no shortcuts just lots of reps and doing the right things more and more often thanks so much for watching and if you like this video be sure to comment below if you'd like to see some other things we'll see we'll uh, kind of vote and see what were our most popular Instagram posts during the week and those will turn into some quick tips throughout the week or we'll just select some of the things that we think are really important for young throwers and throwers and coaches in general to get aware of. So again, if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe, comment below, and we will see you on the next video. If you're doing drills where you're learning to stay up on the ball of the foot and come in here, you're not learning how to sequence the load 